Hey guys, it's Brittany and today we're going to have a little chit chat. I spent most of January, today is January 23rd. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded, but I spent most of January just looking over my list of things that I'm wanting to achieve this year, things that I worked on last year, and figure out what I want to continue to roll over into the new year, what things I need to alter a little bit, and if there's anything new I want to bring to the table. So that's what we're going to chat about because I feel like these are a really good video to help motivate others. So maybe some of the things that I'm working on or that I did work on last year might inspire you. So let's just go ahead and talk real quick. I do want to read off what I was doing last year. And then I'll explain to you if I'm going to carry all of it over or what things I'm going to let go of. So the first thing was to be more sustainable. I have been working really hard in the past couple of years since moving here, looking for alternative options for certain things. If that is cutting out like plastic waste or doing more recycling and donating. So that's something that I feel like it's something that you always have to continuously do. And, um, yeah, it's something I'm planning on rolling over, of course, this year. I do have a video coming up really soon to show you guys a really fun way that I have been working on trying to properly dispose and recycle my beauty items. So I'm going to show you guys that in a future video, of course, but that is something that I feel like I'm always going to be passionate about. The next thing was I was working on Instagram and my LTK app a lot last year. This year, I'm going to focus here on YouTube a little bit more because I do have some really exciting vacations and trips lined up that I really want to document here on YouTube. So I might actually put Instagram a little bit on the back burner, not too much, but far enough back on the back burner that I could bring YouTube front and center. Of course, LTK is something I'm always working on on the daily, and I'm going to continue that last year focused a lot on positivity and things that bring me joy. I worked a lot out in the garden. I had this like really great passion last year of wanting to try to plant and grow things. And I still feel like I have that, but I'm wanting to tone that down a little bit because we did have some terrible winter storms that were literally once in a lifetime for this part of Florida. And it killed off a lot of my hard work that I've been working on the past few years with plants, mainly our citrus trees. They all pretty much didn't make it through the storm and I'm a little devastated because I invested so much time so much money so I'm actually reconsidering a lot of gardening I'll still garden some stuff because Holly has been exploring more vegetables in her diet and I do want to try to grow some so she could see like what it's like to grow veggies um but I might tone down on the citrus trees and maybe focus more on herbs and things I can use in the kitchen this year. Also with positivity, I have uh, I feel like I'm constantly on that journey. I feel like different chapters in my life, I seek and feel a need for a different form of positivity. In the past, for example, back before I had Holly, the positivity was wanting to be out and be social and be seen and dress really good. But now I'm looking for the little things like spending time with my cat right here, which is Momo, pretty lady, um, spending time with family and just doing more things that literally bring peace and calm and just kind of like lowers my, you know, blood pressure and stuff. So instead of buying and just going above and beyond on huge shopping trips, I like finding little things now. So I think that's why I'm going to be working on a lot this year is continuing to find the small little things that bring a lot of peace and joy into my life. Also last year, one of my things was to tone down on the curse words or profanity, cuss words, whatever you call it. I feel like there was a time frame in my life and it was around college that everyone just said F this and just screw that and just say things like that as a funny way. But now that um, I'm in a different chapter in my life, I don't want to use those words. I don't want that to be in my Rolodex of what I'm going to say to describe something or show my form of excitement. Um, I feel like those type of words, just what I would call potty words, especially now that I have a kid, you don't want to say certain words and they pick it up and they take it to school or they take it to a play group or at the park and they say it to other kids. So um, that's something I worked on a lot last year and I've done really good. I still every once in a while will slip. But I am going to continue that and I think that's going to be something that's going to take quite some time to um, remove from, like I said, my Rolodex of words. Um, the last thing is I was working on my wardrobe a lot last year and you guys, I can't believe I'm going to say this. 
I think I have my wardrobe about complete. I know when it comes to coats and jackets, there might be one more, but I'm pretty much done with that. And then with shoes, there's maybe just one or two more pair. And then my shoe collection is exactly how I want it to be for quite some time. So I'm really excited. I know jeans like denim, I don't need any more denim. The denim that I have is more than enough. In fact, there's some that I could probably let go of. The main thing is just tops. I, I just need to find more tops that make me happy. But I'm really thrilled to say that my like capsule true Brittany wardrobe is about there. I'm really excited about that. So maybe I could finish that up this year with some extra spending money that I get from time to time. Now things that I'm wanting to do this year that I wasn't doing last year. It's just more home projects and we were working on the home last year, but this year we have a lot, a lot of home projects. Um, we're getting a new fence. We're getting uh, a new sprinkler system put in, like an entire new system. We're going to be fixing all the patio lights. We're considering adding a different form of bistro lights up in one of our beautiful oak trees. We are replacing the chimney. There has been some renovating already in the house at the very end of last year that I kind of just want to go on ahead and say we were doing it this year though because, it, you know, I've literally done it right before Christmas, which was painting the office and it is the same color as this bedroom now. So the office is very open, very peaceful. It doesn't feel like caved in or heavy, um, but I'm wanting to also renovate and update Holly's bathroom and go ahead and get a fresh new color in there. So there's a lot of home projects. We're also in the talks about maybe getting some new appliances and just doing small little like upgrades inside the house. So very, very excited this year about working more on the home. Also, I already touched base on this, but I did speak about some trips that we have lined up. I will go on ahead and announce I am taking a really nice Bahamas trip with my mom and it's going to be through a cruise line. So I've took a few cruises in the past, but this one is going to be the first one I'm going to actually try to document some video and stuff on for YouTube. So I'm very excited for that. Bryce is also going to Japan and then 2024, I will be going to Japan as well with Bryce. It's going to be our very, very, very very late honeymoon. We never had a honeymoon. We literally just jumped into being parents and buying a house instead of going on a honeymoon. And um, we need that. We need that little break. So we're going to be doing a lot more vacations. I am actually going to be going and getting my passport soon. I want to get my hair redone before that because I know that photo is going to stick around with me for quite some time. So um, I think I'll probably schedule a hair appointment before my actual photos. So that's something very exciting. Also, 2023 in the fall, Holly will be going to kindergarten, which means there is a lot of stuff that we'll be discussing here in future videos, getting her prepped and ready for school, what her style is going to be, the like best items that I grabbed up for her, as well as how we're transitioning her from being like a only child here at the house to a child that's going to kindergarten but that also requires me a new chapter in my life on what I want to do each day while she's in school. Do I want to go back to work? Do I want to focus more on certain projects? Do I want to pick up a new hobby, go back to school myself? There's a lot of things that I need to think over and decide on this year. All right, so with that being said, I think mainly the mission for this year is to just piggyback on everything I was doing last year, roll it over, let's keep working and improving. There's so many great things that had helped me so much last year that I know if I work a little bit harder this year, it's gonna just be even better. So that's my mission. I don't know what everyone else's is. Let me know in the comments if you actually sit down and write out a goal list or things that you wanna try to eliminate from your life and things that you wanna bring into your life at the new year. I think last year was really, really good. And I think it would be great to continue what I was doing last year into this year and maybe just add a few more things. So like the adding of some of our bucket list vacations to the list so we can have more positivity and enjoy the world, enjoy each other's company, would bring more happiness. But also like with Holly getting ready for school, being able to step into that new chapter with her, as well as take the opportunity to try something new for myself. It's just, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you want to hang out 
if you want to see what the outcome is for this year with me and my family definitely follow along here on youtube hit the subscribe button but if you also want to just a little added bonus over on my instagram i post daily um what we're up to i also post reels just little snippets of my life but there is a home account and that is where i have been wanting to document a lot of these home projects that we've been working on and then the future home projects so since there is a lot in the works we already have contractors lined up for a lot of these projects it would be great um, if you are into home items and seeing home inspo to go on ahead and follow the home account. I'll have everything linked below if you just want to go check it out. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Momo. Momo. That's the girl. Let me see if I can show you guys. There he is. He's sleeping. <laughs>